Welcome boxing fans. Um, the EJ Boxing Live here to cover this Japanese uh, bantamweight um, WBC championship. We've seen Shasura Yamanama versus Sasuo uh, so wrong aside um yeah this fight's happening in tokyo in tokyo in japan and um it should be a good fight man um so hope you guys enjoy it surian will be looking to do something both sariman kosa wangsha and his hero virapol saapram were able to do win a world title fight on the road in japan in a new weight class past the years considered to be his prime the 25 year old is a former titleist at super flyweight defeating tomas rojas for the ibf title and defending it once before dropping it to Yota Sato in a tough fight that would have been scored a draw, save for a pair of knockdowns. Since the loss to Sato, he's faced mostly overmatched competition at home, slowly climbing the WBC ladder into contention again. Yamanaka, meanwhile, is considered by many to be the best bantamweight in the world. The god of left stopped Christian Esquivel for the WBC strap in 2011 and has scored knockouts in five of his six title defenses thus far. Yamanaka might be one of the best pure knockout punchers in the sport. He's not a high output guy, but he has a snappy jab, a dynamite left hand, and a good right hook when he chooses to go on the inside and use it. Suryan is your consummate pressure fighter. He's at his best when he's able to walk opponents down behind a tight defense and fire lead right hands before he gets inside. Now in the past, particularly against Tomas Rojas, he has been able to win fights while backing up. The 2011 version of Suryan was able to stay on the outside and explode in, throw flurries and get back out. But he has a tendency to become a bit mesmerized on the outside where he would be at the end of Yamanaka's heavy punches and in serious danger. If Yamanaka is able to back him up, we'll see what adjustments a slightly slower Suryan is able to make. One thing is certain though, with his legendary training regiment, which includes a 20 kilometer run every single day of his life, or elite marathon or mileage, he's certainly not going to tire out. But Yamanaka only needs one shot to take someone out of a fight. He's a 12 to one favorite on most sports books right now, and he's certainly not looking to be added to the list of champions who are upset at home. Instead, he'd rather have a better distinction, take one step closer to breaking Yoko Gushikin's national record of seven consecutive title defenses via stoppage. So, um, Yurman, uh, Yaminaka and uh, Rungaside have made weight, as you can see. Um, they look comfortable as well. And as you can see slightly, um, Yaminaka slightly coming a bit heavier, only about, like only, only a bit, slightly. So, um, with that, so, um, it, this looks like a good fight for the WBC Bantamweight Championship. Um, should be, it should be, a, it should be a great fight. Hopefully the two combatants put on a fight. So let's get it on, man. Round one, Yamanaka a wrong aside. Wrong aside from um, Thailand. And uh, Yamanaka obviously fighting in his hometown, Japan, the champion, for, um, defending his WBC championship. Wrong aside, um, Southpaw, crouch, aggressive fighter, former champion himself. Yamanaka has got multiple defenses of the championship, of the WBC championship. So both left feeling each other out. Oh, wrong aside going in a big whoa, whoa! Wrong side's going in with his short punches. Landing his uh, right, left, backed up. Uh, Yamanaka had to give ground as that. But Yamanaka has just got the height advantage. He looks okay. The rowdy crowd in Japan, in Tokyo, Japan, or a rowdy corner, should I say. I think that's wrong aside, um, wrong aside corner uh, doing all the yelling. Because most Japanese you see in the crowd, that they're, they're quite passive, to be honest with you. Maybe that's the rowdy Thai Thailand cheering on. Yep, you can hear. Whoa. Whoa, wrong side's going for it. He's not waiting around, mate. Stands in another, another left. Whoa. <laughs> wrong side's not, the wrong side's not joking around. Sorry, wrong side's um, oh, just normal orthodox, sorry. Standing his big right, standing his big right in. Yamazaka. Yamanaka's a southpaw. As you can see, tall, laid back, fights upright. Goes to the body, Yamanaka goes to the body. Wrong aside, bringing it on, bringing the heat though. Round one. 
Oh, nice punch by wrong side. Um, by by um, Yamanaka. Wow, wrong side putting some real, real venom in these punches here, man. I tell you what, he's definitely come for the championship. He's definitely looking to try and take the championship. In round one, he's definitely looking my score. My score cards, bro. He's doing pretty well. Again, lands a big right. Again, wrong side, really putting some real power in the shots. Whoa, they come um, Yamanaka. Slightly coming back. Whoa, Yamanaka just missed there. And wrong side, still bashing to the body, man. There's a big height disparity here, man. But I tell you what, Yama, wrong side is not, is not, is not. <laughs> He's not, he's, he's not bothered by it at all, man. He's, he's getting in at will, man, and he's working Yamanaka nicely. I'll tell you what, man. For me, or the referee. Hey, that's, that's round one in the book, round one in the book, in the books, man. For me, wrong side got the first round. Round two for the WBC uh, Bantamweight Championship. Champion Yamanaka from Japan. Wrong side, former champion himself from Thailand. And Jap Japan and Thailand have a big rivalry, man. Which goes back quite, goes back quite a way. They've, they've always been. Usually, when the other goes to each other's hometown, they have a hard time. But as, as of late, some Thailand fighters have come to Japan and, and, and eat that decision. But Japanese. Japanese fighters, when they come to um, Thailand, man, very hard for them to, to win a decision. But the Southpaw champion Yamanaka is um, crude right now. He's, he's, he's like down on the court scorecards for me, but he's just taking his time right now, man. Whoa, wrong size, bringing it, man. He definitely going. Yamanaka goes to the boy in the clinches. American referee comes in to break them. That referee is familiar, man. I don't know his name. It's quite familiar. Oh, wrong side game on the left. Definitely landing some big punches and putting some real fudding power in, in the shots. And it's a torrid time for the champion right now, man. As you can see, wrong side still working. The referee's not breaking him, which is good. Yeah, he's looking for break, and that's it. Referee's letting them fight out, which is which is definitely good, yeah, because you get all action. Look at wrong side bringing the pain. And he's, he's chasing after the championship. He wants to become champion again, boy. He hasn't come over here for no payday. He definitely come over and he's got ambitions of himself to become a champion. Whoa. Swinging, head hunting, looking, bopping and weaving. Wrong side from Thailand is, is, is all aggressive. Come forward, brawler, man. And he's getting inside. It's unlikely that, um, what's his name again the other day? Against Jolly Gonzalez. Um, Hugo Arce couldn't do couldn't get inside of Johnny, uh, Johnny Gonzalez but this guy wrong side definitely is getting in on Yamanaka Yamanaka needs to step his output out man right now he's just he's, he's passive right now I guess he's overwhelmed by the the pace of uh, of wrong side wrong side so he's just bringing it I'm lucky like pushing out the jab. He hasn't landed any notable punches. Like wrong side's landing all the power punches right now. And definitely output. For me, he's landing most of the output. Round two, definitely as he done in round one. Referee slightly warns him just there. Still stalking his prey. Oh, Yamanaka caught him with a big left. Backed up, Yamanaka backs out wrong side. Wrong side gave ground with that punch there. That's the only punch away Yamanaka could do. And Yamanaka's go oh, again. Got him on a big left. Yamanaka has got some serious power, man. And he's landing punches at will now on Wrong side's head. And Wrong side comes back. What a great round two, man. Wow, well, round three. <laughs> For the WBC Bandway Chapel live in Tokyo, Japan. Boy, <laughs> that was a good round. So Yamanaka came back at the end of that round there, but still, the majority of the round I give to wrong side. So wrong side has got that round. But Yamanaka, he came back. He came to life. Right now, he's looked like um, he's, uh, he looked like he. I don't know what he was. It looks like he was. Uh, he's in a haze of a bit when the fight started. Probably a bit caught up. Oh, Yamanaka started to level. Started to tee off a bit. Started to keep him, keep him at will. This is a real, real competitive fight. Tell you but the because of Thailand, the young Thailand fighters bringing bringing the bringing the heat. Yamanaka. Wrong side. Oh, will Yamanaka pulls him down by his head? Wrong side gets up. 
He's back. Referee wipes his gloves off and the action resumes. Both of them are very competitive. Competitive, man. Both don't want to lose. They're um, proud to bring their courage. As you can see, wrong side bringing the colours of the Thailand flag. And you can see. Oh, um, Yamanaka is sponsored by Tekum. That's the same company as, um, uh, as Chocolito, uh, Roman Gonzalez. So um, they the same Japanese promotional uh, comfort um, company. And most of them, the Tekken fighters, they're in the lower weight division in Japan. So um, you're probably going to get a few of them, three of them. But this is a big car. This is sold out arena, as you can see in Tokyo, Japan. Yamanaka, oh, Yamanaka, starting to, starting to, starting to come out the haze now. He's starting to find some sort of rhythm now, and he's starting to land some more punches more consistently. And Rongazan, his output's kind of slowed down now because of he, I think he's getting some sting from Yamanaka, but he's still, still going in. I think um, Yamanaka, this is Yamanaka's best round so far. Landing some good punches. Starting, starting to teal from wrong side. Popping that jab out. Southpaw jab. Popping that right hand out to set up his big left. Trying to sneak the uppercut in. Didn't work. Under the, the game challenger from Thailand. Definitely all action style by wrong side, man. He's a very busy fighter, man. I've never seen a Thailand fighter who took a step back. They always come forward, man. So the other day, one of them fought uh, uh, Orlando Solis. Yeah, he, he had a great fight as well, man. Usually, they Thailand fighters, their their last name is the name of their gym. Wrong side, uh, maybe that's the name of his gym. Wrong side might be their gym. Whoa, whoa! Yamanaka does miss right there. Well, he's still trying to land his big, big left. Wrong side goes to the body there, still working the body. Referee won him. So, a quite competitive fight now. Round three in the books, man. I'll give that to Yamanaka, man. So, 2 1 up. Wrong side, 2 1 up. Yamanaka, 1 round. Round four. The WBC. Uh, Bantam weight championship. Wrong side landing. Great punch. Sticking it. Whoa, wrong side is aggressive, man. Very aggressive. No, don't take, doesn't, doesn't take no back steps, man. All action coming forward, man. That's what you like as a fighter, man. Well, but you know what? As he's aggressive, man, this is where you can get caught. Counters and stuff like that. It's so aggressive. Yamanaka's not using his reach. And his foot speed looks like his foot's in, in cement right now. Like, isn't it? He needs to come out, maybe loosen up. He loosened up a bit in round three. I gave him that round. But uh, as again, the aggressiveness again is Yamanaka. Yamanaka's punches. To be honest, you, some of his things slightly gone. Oh, Yamanaka, big, big, big left by Yamanaka, man. That's a major uh, wrong side with some punches here. He's measuring him now, he's catching him. He's catching him consistently now. Wrong side's eating a bit too much here. Huh? <laughs> Yamanaka's found the target and he's, he's, he's making sure everything hit home, man. Wrong side is, is, is finding it hard now. Look, Yamanaka's do a bit more foot movement now. Placing his punches a bit more better. Wrong side still still hunting. But you can see Yamanaka's using his foot speed now. And I'm, I'm, uh, wrong side's finding it a bit hard. He keeps pumping that right hand and, and keeping him at bay. Every time he moves in, he keeps turning him and spinning him. Look at the uppercut. Ooh. No way. <laughs> Yo, wrong side's calling him in now. As you can see, the tide's churned. The champion, the WBC champion, has decided to fight. He's decided, he's decided to, to come in. The game wrong side from Thailand is 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 is, is not is not unbound. He's still coming forward. Still putting the pressure. Wrong side. Oh, big left. Big left by um by uh, Yamanaka. Wrong side answers back. Again, wrong, uh, wrong side again answers. It's a standoff right now. Round four for the WBC Championship in Tokyo, Japan. Thailand versus Japan. They have a rivalry that goes back, backwards and forwards, almost like Puerto Rico and Mexico. Keeps popping that punch out. Wrong side, still, still, still pursuing his prey. Yamanaka still turning and moving. He's decided a bit more movement. Wow. Nice punches by wrong side, but they didn't they didn't land really. Um, Yamanaka spun, evaded most of them shots just there. Hear the clap on the boards for the, the under ten seconds. 
and Yamanaka's measuring. Woo! Well, Yamanaka landed some good punches at the end of that round there. And that's a Yamanaka round, and we tied up two apiece. Wrong aside got two, and Yamanaka got two. Round five for the WBC uh, Bantamweight Championship. The long reigning WBC champion. Uh, Yamanaka moving around younger sizes is going in now he's definitely all action definitely on the judges I uh, have to be uh, impressed by all action Yamanaka uh, hints that uh, um, wrong side is using his head there but as you can see you know all action fire look at that he's still landing punches referee trying to warn him a bit wrong side still landing punches is still coming forward Yamanaka's more turning now the tide slightly changed again, but Rangasai is still trying to get game. Rangasai is a good round one and two, and Yamanaka came back around three and four. Whoa! See, so landing that's trying to set him up. The output of, uh, as you can see by Yamanaka, is not that much, but he's precision punching. Every punch he lands is he puts ultimate power in every punch. Yeah, a nice punch by Rangasai there. Then again. Wrong side landing, he's trying to land, he's landing his right at will and he lands it again and doubles it on, on, on Yamanaka's face. Goes to the body with it as well, Yamanaka puts his head down. Wrong, wrong side, um, still still there, still game, coming forward. I'm impressed by wrong side, like the way he fights, man. I like the way he fights, he just comes forward, man. There's no, there's no boring, there's not a boring fight, there's hardly any clinching. It's a bit, hardly any clinching this fight. Usually, like, um, Fight some fights, you get clean, and you can see wrong side still looks like he's getting a bit tired here. Yamanaka's trying to measure him with his big straight punches. You see, he's, he's one that classic boxer, Yamanaka. Referee warns him about pushing his head and just laying his head down on on, on Yaman, um, wrong side's head. Still, still very good. Wrong side still like, bringing the bring the action. Whoa, Yamanaka's trying to time him. He's trying to time him still. Look, so he's trying to time him. Definitely trying to time him. Wrong side as wrong side's come in. Spin is it one of the clinches and game and a good clinch by um by Yamanaka. As wrong side's coming in. This is the bull and the matador. Uh, I'd say the bull is definitely <laughs> wrong aside from Thailand and the matador from Japan is Yamanaka. Yamanaka again. Then the good the good left. Oh, wrong aside arts is back, man. And he, whoa! You that's him. Go ahead, a good, good right. That's a good right by, uh, by wrong aside. This is a definitely an all action fight, man. Who you got in the round five? It's tight bit, but I think Rungaside's pulling it out. He came back in this in this round, and definitely I feel for me, feel like he's pulled it out in this round. Definitely pulled it out. Rungaside's come back on the scorecards three two to uh, Rungaside. Yamanaka, I gave two rounds. Round six, referee breaks them for the WBC bantamweight championship. The champion uh, moving around the ring right now in the white white trunks from Japan. Yamanaka, challenger from Thailand. Wrong aside, moving the head movement. He's got the the Joe Frazier, uh, what you say, it? Mike Tyson bop bop and weave type of thing. More more to do with a. Uh, a kind of Joe Frazier kind of style, man. Just coming in. No, no, no. Coward. Joe Coward. We need um, Coward. Yeah. Um, Dwight Braxton. That kind of style. Where he's just coming in, covered in, and he's just going and slugging, man. Definitely. Uh, I'm talking about uh, wrong side. All action fire. But Yamanaka's the classic boxer. Pops a jab out. Pops his southpaw. Pops his uh, right hand out to set up his big left. They're definitely trying to land up, but you see the output is you should look in, you have to look on the output who's landed Oh wrong side Yamanaka trying to time the uppercut underneath the wrong side the use definitely with a short fighter the uppercut is a definitely devastating punch as they come in Usually when knockouts occur is when the fight is so aggressive that he's coming in to land his punches That's how they get knocked out. It doubles the impact and uh, I think Yamanaka is trying to use a uh, wrong side aggression if to time him to catch him with a punch where he can where he can knock him out the matador catch the ball again uh, this fight round is pretty close uh, Yamanaka his output he's, he's throwing a bit more punches in this, this round wrong side still pursuing his prey Yamanaka still pushing out his, his right hand to set up his big left 
Oh, then he's trying to set the uppercut up. Rongasai answers back with his right and a left. Rongasai still pursuing. Southpaw Jap Japanese Yamanaka. On pursuit on the back foot. Still popping, popping out the right hand. Looking for his big left, the pedigree chum for his left, left hand punch. Yamanaka still pursuing, pursuing. The crowd are here. Spellbound by this championship. The Thailand people in the corner have definitely gone quiet slightly. As they can see, everyone's. this is a very, very high, high concentrated fight. And a lot, there's a lot on the line. Yamanaka landing his big left right there on, on um, Rungaran. Still landing. Ring of, ring of eyes is still landing. Going to the body. Ring of eyes still, still landing. Yeah. Well, who'd you give that round to, man? I think Ring of won that round, man. I think he won that round. I think he won that fight. Won that round. So, we've got him two rounds up. Don't revise, I got him, I got him, revise, I got him two rounds up. Wow, still pursuing his prey. Whoa, he's definitely stepped up the tempo in this round. He's definitely stepped up. We're in round seven already. This fight's going quick, man. For his 12 round, this 12, 12 round schedule for the WBC Bantamweight Championship. Man. Whoa, ho, ho! Rogan's landing a big left right there. And he caught, he caught uh, Yamanako swell, and then he's landing uppercuts in the referee's not breaking him. And Rongaran still, still, he's still landing. He sees, he's trying to seize the momentum right now. Whoa. Wrong advisor is still, 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 still pursuing. Whoa. Yamanaka arts us back with some straights. Squaring off from the jaw of Revisor. Great fight so far, man. Death fight, definite all action. Wow. The champion starting to, starting to, starting to tee off now on Revisor's head. Yamanaka, the champion, still pumping, still trying to time. Yamanaka, uh, still trying to. Yamanaka, still trying to time Revisor's head. Time as he comes in, definitely. Look, he's trying to catch him uppercuts and hooks as he comes in, spinning him, turning him, popping the jab out, left up, left up. Definitely trying to time him, but ooh, definitely it's hard, man. Um, Yamanaka, man, he throws some power in them punches, man. For sure. I mean, you don't have that many title defenses he does if you don't throw some, if you've got some pop, man. But I'll tell you what, man, the young Thailand fighter, Revisor is not, is not, is not, is not unbound like he's still coming forward, pursuing, pursuing his prey. Tell you what, all the effort he's putting in, man, you've got to give him some rounds, you've got to give him the rounds because the way he's pursuing. But Yamanaka, as he can, he's starting to step it up. But you can see the notable, powerful punches, but well, again, he's caught. There you go. There you go. And that's what it was, the big left. As he came in and you see he was working on it. This is the timing. That was a big left and he doubled it up and that's what happened. Now he's back on the scorecards and to me, he's tied it up. Revisor's down. Down, he don't look like he's hurt though. Referee, we'll look at referee bring the cow out. All right. Yamanaka's standing right behind him. Referee's supposed to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, you're supposed to go to a neutral corner, my man. And that's the end of round seven, man. And we're in round eight for the WBC Bantamweight Championship. And you, <laughs> Yamanaka floors Revisor on the ground and, and equals up the scorecard on my scorecard because Revisor was, was starting to start to pick it up, man. And you can see, look, he's catching him. Whoa, Revisor still. Whoa, landed a big right to them. Yeah, Yamanaka at two of them. So look, you can see, look, he's, he's, he's obviously cleared up. Um, obviously, they probably put water in his head and, and um, refreshing them. Revisors definitely come back strong in this right in this this round. This is a great banding weight championship match, man, folks. Yamanaka still popping the jab out, landing, going to the head. Whoa, ho, ho, we started to find combinations. It's the first combination I see from Yamanaka. 
Revise is catching him in the inside. He knows how to work in the inside. The Thailand fighter, man. Good at working in the inside. Gets bashing the body. Little short uppercuts. Again, cracking. Working, working shots. Beautiful shots he's landing here. This is a great fight, man. Keep working, keep working. Revise is still. Keep working shots. Oh, Yamanaka still popping. Revise is still. He's, he's catching him as he comes inside, you see. Oh, and we, oh ho, ho. he's caught him again. He's catching with big shots in, and Yom, uh, Yamanaka's uh, he's still working him. He's working him as he comes in. Revise Ox is back with a big hook and stuns the champion. <laughs> champion has grabs on. Wow. What a round seven. The WBC Championship in, J in Tokyo, Japan, man. What a round. The two of them, the two combatants, are definitely just, just throw the, the book out and they're just going at it. Yamanaka still gone back to his boxing and yeah, Revisor still pursuing his prey. Still looking, still looking to work the body, work any shots. And I tell you, the young Thailand guy's tough, man. He takes some good shots. He'd be floored in round seven. Here in round eight, he's definitely landing big shots on the champion. The champion is still soaking it up and still definitely, definitely taking his time. The human Yamanaka, as you can see, he fights very conservative. And every punch he fights is a precision fire, so he throws a lot of power. As he throws his combination, then he's out of it. He spins. Beautiful shot. And again, Revise is down on the ground again. Beautiful. And he's up on the scorecard too. Referee gives us the count. Two times down now in, in this round seven and round eight. They wipe his gloves off. Revise is still. And Yamanaka must be. This is what we're saying about Yamanaka. But he, later on in the fight, you know, he's, he's conserved himself and he's, he's retained his power late in the fight, late in the rounds. And that's it. End of round eight, round nine. I wonder if Revisor's recovered from the knockdowns, man. Because there were two, some devastating knockdowns. And he's down on the scorecards, big man. Down two rounds to the champions up. And that was some good not oh, that was a good not done. Timed him again. Look, the regressiveness. Yamanaka's just timing him as he's coming in. Oh again, he's hitting the around the back of the head. Look, he's catching him as he comes in now. Revisor's there, he's not let's head movement. And that's why he's getting time with his punches here. Because before, I think actually maybe not. I think he was more quicker as he's slowing down. Look, see, look, he's just walking in. And Yamanaka keeps hitting him and turning. Look, here hit. And then he will grab one, wait for the referee to come to break, and then he'll pop the pop the right hand, the southpaw Japanese guy, um, Yamanaka, pop the jab and just keep turning him. Look, here we go. So he'll pop it, keep putting out his right hand, yeah, and setting up with his big left. There, you can see obviously the reach disparity where Rumvisor's missing. Oh, look at that big left over the top. Yeah, but obviously uh, this young Thailand fight, Rumvisor's getting inside. Needs to, he needs to get inside and try to work. Get inside and keep working. There you go. He's trying to work inside, but I don't know if his powers have an effect later in this round. He took some knockdowns here, man. And look, see there you go. Big left again by Yamanaka, just timing him again. Got a good defense by uh, Rumvisor. Landing good defense. Oh, <laughs> Revisor spun him around now. Referee's gonna warn him. Time out here. What's referee saying? What's referee saying? Is that one point? He's taking one point off Revisor. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Why is he taking one point off? You can see both of them competitive. What's he warning about? Trying to uh, trying to stop throwing your your Manaka. That's a bit out of order, man. He's not even no warning. Oh. He got caught with a big uppercut as well, so he's down on the scorecards. Massive man. He got point took down. Two knockdown. This is the third knockdown. And Yamanaka's looking massive now. I think boy. Oh, he needs a knockout right now, man. He's hugely down on the scorecards now, man. <laughs> he's, down, he's down like five points already. Four five four five points down on the scorecards, man. Two knockdowns. Another knockdown, that's four, and then this the point deduction as well, man. Well, you can say like actually more like four, actually, it's more like uh, four, 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 because it's like um, the, the 10 7 round, isn't it? Because um, it took the point 10 8 and 10 7, so seven and the two before, so yeah, five points down on the scorecards, man. Down big, Revisor's down big, referees warning him.
Referee had never him on them, see? It's good for, I don't know why the referee went in and took the point like that. And then he got caught with an uppercut as he come in, Rises, as he come in. Whoa. Rises is getting caught here, man. He's getting caught. Yamanaka's just teeing off right now, man. The Japanese press on hand, man, watching this great WBC Bantamweight Championship. What round we in? Round 10. The rounds are going fast, boy. This is a great fight, man. WBC Bantamweight Championship in, in Tokyo, Japan. Rumvaza from Tokyo, from, from um, Thailand. And Yamanaka from Japan. Two rounds left for this championship. We're in the championship rounds right now. Yamanaka's coasting right now. Them knockdowns, definitely. And all the, all the time, like, he, the output, he's been conserving himself. The Southport Japanese Yamanaka champion, WBC champion, has is, is been biding been his time and he's it's came came to fruition like some of the knockdowns have been some real hard knockdowns fights the rise up the still still pursuing his prey still trying to get some punches and he got all the early rounds in but just to keep it up to be honest with you is is, is not been easy man it's definitely not been easy look at that still still throwing punches but I'm, i doubt i doubt the power has got the same power as he did in the first rounds he, he rocked Yamanaka a couple of times but Yamanaka has been easy to weather the storm. And we're here in round 10 for the WBC uh, Bantamweight Championship. Definitely a competitive, very competitive fight. Oh, Yamanaka, see, he's trying to time with that big left as he comes in. Yamanaka's good, man. He's just still, still very competitive. Yeah, he's holding him, hitting. Definitely pride on the line. Both guys um, proud are proud of their country. They don't want to lose to each other. Look at that. <laughs> he's really... Oh, he's, um, your advisor is very competitive, man. Yamanaka's yeah, just trying to hold him off around the clinches. The referee's doing a good job letting them... In the inside, the referee's not breaking him. He's letting them fight out the clinches. Normally, look, there, see the referee, look, see the hands are up there. The referee's letting them fight. Not getting too involved here, look. Yeah, Manaka's trying to get some room to get his punches off. But you see, Rumvaza's right on his chest. He's not giving up. And the referee's not letting him fight. The referee's letting him fight inside. Which is good for um, Rumvaza. You see Rumvaza that's coming in with his head down, bopping underneath uh, Yamanaka's jab. See, Rumvaza's trying to land that hook. Earlier on in the fight, he, he was able to land it right now, but not so much. There's an elbow there of um, Yamanaka using his shoulder, sorry. Should I say, Yamanaka, I see Rumvaza going to the body, working inside. Yamanaka's holding his head. Rumvaza's still working, still working. This is quite a low, man, after the knockdowns and, and the point deduction early rounds, previous rounds. In round 10. Yamanaka still popping up, his southpaw right hand, trying to set up his left, she's looking for it, he's popping it out, a bit more active Yamanaka in this round here, and he's a bit more accurate as well, I give Yamanaka probably, probably more, whoa, big left, and they touch gloves, see, very competitive fight, round 11, WBC championship matchup, up and versus uh, Yamanaka. Revise is still competitive. Yama, hey, Revise holding around the back end and up again. Referee's warning him. Yeah, but at least you're not taking the point off now. You shouldn't have took the point off from the first one, man. To be honest with you. But Revise knows he's down on the scorecards and he definitely needs a knockdown. And Yamanaka's trying to, trying to knock out Revise as he comes in. Mvisor still on the move, still coming forward, still trying to she's looking for. He's looking for the knockdown, all action fire Mvisor. But Yamanaka definitely cuter, the cuter boxer, the precision right now. A bit of footwork, popping that jab out on the move, and that's it. I think he understands here, like, and he's up on the scorecards. He's not going to try and do anything to risk risk that. But right now, Revisor still pursuing. I don't know. Revisor look like he's um, his foot's in lead at the minute, man. He's just, you know, he's coming in, but he's not like when he gets inside. Look at that. You see the ball in the matador right there. You see, whoa, on the as he comes through. Vamos. Yeah, as he comes in, like he just, he just, he just pulls him off, like ties him up. Cute. But Yamanaka, man, smart, smart boxing, smart boxing. Keep popping the jab, keep turning them, keep turning the short fighter. Look at that. You see, turn them, clinch and grabbing in. See, the referee will come in the back. At this point, obviously, the referee has to break, break them at this point. 
Yeah, man, I can see. Keep him on the back foot and keep popping the jab. Sapo. There you go. Go to the body. Oh, beautiful shots. Whoa, ho, ho. The advisors to eat a couple here. They have to eat. Yamanaka yeah, looked like he was teeing up. And here comes Ramfizer still. Smart by Yamanaka yeah, to, to hold him up in the clinches. Referee breaks them there. I think that referee's um, Thingy Kelly. Um, I think his last name is Kelly. But his first name is... Is it Brian Kelly? Not Brian Kelly. I think it's something... I think it's Kevin... One of the Kelly guys. I'm not too sure though. But he's doing all right, Joe. Apart from the point deduction, um, you know, other than that, he's letting the action, he's letting the action to fight. He's letting them fight inside. Yamanaka, see Yamanaka's. Oh, what's Yamanaka leaning on the back of his head? But that should be a point deduction right there. Then if you're gonna, the one revise his head. Alright, well, I guess not. Referee lets it slide, and we're in round eleven. The fight is slightly go, slightly going on low right now. No exciting as the previous rounds. But I think um, Yamanaka's is pulling away in the scorecards definitely with them, them combinations he's landing. It's a very, very high intense uh, fight for the championship. And see where you see where my are. And that's the end of round 11. We're going this for the championship round, round 12. 12th and final round, man. I'm surprised they didn't even touch gloves in when the fight started. They probably did, but. Bean Kelly right there breaks them. See, look at it, and they understand the Thailand fighter, the revisor, understands that he's so down on the scorecards, he needs a knockout. And I think the corners told him that. Yamanaka's just told him, just coast in the fight. She was looking at him, pushing, trying to push past the referee. <laughs> he's so, so, so wants to get to Yamanaka, he's trying to get to Yamanaka, that he's pushing on the referee. <laughs> he's, uh, the referee looks at him and says, hey, hey, whoa, hold your horses there, Tiger. Look at that, Yamanaka, uh, Rumvaisa stands was putting serious pressure. I like that. That look, this little Yamanaka, um, Rumvaisa is a definitely guy I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look out for, man. I like the way he fights. He's calm, forward, aggressive guy. But Yamanaka, the classes, oh, the class here. Look at that left. Look at the southpaw sticking the left out, trying to pop him. Look at the matador. He's just there popping him, man. As he comes in, a bit messy here. Referee gonna have to break them here. Yeah, look at it. Revise is still trying to push past the ref. Oh, he's done an uppercut. Uh, all the effort is good. He knows, understand. He's down on the scorecards. Big. This has been a very competitive fight. I enjoyed it. Must be coming into the last minute right now. I'm not too sure because he hasn't got the time on the, on the screen. Referee, this referee won about the back of by the back of the head. I don't see nothing there. Yamnaka still popping the jab. Revise is still hunting, looking after his prey. Revisor still is swinging for the fences, trying to land something to knock him out. And you see Yamanaka position punches, bull with that big left. And he's caught him again. And he's caught him again in the corner and he's throwing the flurries. Yeah, Revisor done a good job of weathering the storm just there. Because I tell you what, he took some good punches right there by Yamanaka. Yamanaka was trying to take him out on the 12th and he's trying to. Yamanaka, see, look at him, trying to just time himself. He's just looking for that one big punch. My man Nassim Mohammed with the southpaw starts. Now it is hard to fight southpaws. He's tall as well for the weight class as well. Bant and weight. You got some other bant and weights in the, in the weight class, yeah. Very interesting to see him first try and face one of them, right? But right now, Yamanaka is definitely winning the fight, and Revisor, he's definitely worth worth definitely a uh, world worth challenger from Thailand. And he's bring he's bringing it, but boy, he's not his effort's gonna be too short. I got Yamanaka coasting away like seven rounds up, man, at least seven rounds. Whoa, big punch by Rav out there, big right hand over there, Yamanaka's face. But Yamanaka just eats it well, and that's the last under ten seconds now in the championship bout for the WBC uh, bantamweight championship held by Yamanaka. It looks like he's gonna retain his belt. Whoa, and that's it, and that's it. Great fight, great fight by the two of them. So we're going to go to the judges now. And Yamanaka has been held up as the champion, which is by Yanara's decision. And like, like, you, like you know, you think so as well. That was a very competitive fight. In Japan, they did, there's the referee. Bin Kelly putting the belt around him. But fighters are still getting met in Japan. You know, people win, they, they, they receive like flowers and trophies and 
They really do look after the fighters and look after their warriors. They're the referee holding his hand up. And the champion re retains his belt. Yamanaka retains his belt. So it was a very competitive fight. I enjoyed the fight. And there's one to watch. Yamanaka still retains his belt. And you can summon these are some of the knockdowns. Looking at the big left. Alright, so fight fans. So that's that's it. Um so what we're gonna do. Um yeah, it was a it was a great fight. Uh, I wonder where Yamanaka goes from here on now. Should maybe try and fight one of the other champions in the division. And um uh Reviser, um hopefully he'll 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 try and get another shot at championship trial. We're trying to watch see where he goes from then. So very interested to see where the two of them go. It was a great fight they both put on. And um yeah, so I'm um, EJ Boxing Live and I uh, hope you enjoyed this fight and I'll catch you another one. Peace.